going live. You're live. Hello, everyone. I'm Santiago Santiago, entering and I'm testing the Texas Chainsaw Massacre on the GTX 1650, uh, 1050 Ti, and RTX 3070. How are you guys doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. First of all, thanks to Gun Interactive for providing a code of the game. They provided it last week, but I didn't get an email <laughs> telling me that I got it. So thanks to them. Sorry that I didn't check throughout that I got the code, but here I am. So how are you guys doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. It uses UE4, so these GPUs can run it well. Yeah, but still, let's give it a shot. It's interesting. It's been a while since the minimum requirements have been a 1060 and a 580. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. I think that's awesome. Happy to see that. i5 6 gen or a Ryzen 5 1600, which is funny because this i5 is four cores, four threads. Remember those days? <laughs> I think it's four cores. Hang on. Yeah, I think so. Then recommended i7 10th gen 5600X and a 3070. So the um, recommended requirements of this game are the minimum requirements, minimum ish requirements for Immortals of Avium. So that's pretty funny. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's jump into it. The thing is, I thought this game was going to have some single player uh, thing where you play against bots. Well, it's only online, but it has crossplay and it's on Game Pass. So if you want to play it, Game Pass, I think, is the best option since you can check it out. And you can play with Xbox, PlayStation and Steam people. Yeah, Unreal Engine 4, exactly. Does get new thermal pads, improved temps because you're 350 hits 83. It depends on the cooler. If you're a, if you have only one fan, it makes complete sense. I'll first do thermal paste. Then the pads, there is no in between. You had to get the exact thickness of the pads right, otherwise you make a mess. So I think you should change thermal paste if you think that's the issue. The old i5, those were destroyed but read that too. Yeah. Yeah, and bolting the GPU, I think, is the best idea. Two fans equal OC, then consider doing an undervolt or increase the fan speed. Anyway, Unreal Engine 4, which I missed <laughs> despite being everywhere. 1080p, full screen, upscale and you only have FSR, and it seems to be FSR 1, which is a bummer. Then, uh, presets, I'm going to play it on high with textures on medium, just to be consistent. We have only 4 gigs of VRAM. And sorry, MSI Afterburner doesn't work on this one. If I open MSI Afterburner and toggle the on-screen display, the game crashes. And they're working on that to fix it. But right now, there is no way to enable that. I'm using the Steam overlay thing that only shows the FPS, but I'm stuck with that. So let me zoom in so you guys can see. <laughs> I know this is pretty jank. But the game basically forced my hand to get it right. There we go. That should be... That should be good enough. Anyway, let's get into the game, shall we? So high settings, 1080p. Let's go. So according to you guys, I should be from the family. So let's play as family. You're part of the family. You're part of the family. It's up to you to it's secure the property and stop the victims property. from escaping. Stop. Gotcha. Let's go. So I expect something similar to Dead by Daylight. I just launched the game once to see that it actually allowed me to play, and it does, so that's good. In winter you get 79C max, that's weird. Hey, what up, Nono Atata? It's been a while. Can't wait for Starfield? Same here. September 1st cannot come soon enough. 3050 is the Eagle OC version, so it's a gigabyte card. I have a triple fan gigabyte card, doesn't get super hot, but those are two, three small fans. I'd rather have two big fans instead. Bueno, saludos, Benito. <laughs> Espero estés pasando bien. Saludos. Okay. So I'm Johnny. Here's Johnny. Can I choose Leatherface? No, I cannot. Dang it. Oh well. 
Gotta start somewhere. Oh, it's already him. Gotcha. So I'm playing against an Xbox with an Xbox guy, against an Xbox person, a PC person, a PlayStation person, and a PC person. That's awesome. See, crossplay is the future. Everything should have crossplay. Bueno, saludos, no you, no you gamer. May you know why my car boosts higher than stock when under vaulted? Because it's a lower temperature. So it can boost higher. So the lower the temperature, the higher the the higher the core clock. Up, up to a certain point, of course. So yeah. Can I expect the same performance as 570 from this? Yeah, should be similar. Maybe a little bit better even. So that's good. Hang on, why am I moving the camera? I can move my face like this. Okay, 20 seconds remaining. Because Anna <laughs> didn't... Okay, put right, there we go. Five seconds. So there's actually people playing, which is good. I thought this was going to be dead on day two, but apparently not. Never played it. This is my first game. I don't know what to do, okay? Okay, secure the property. Feed Grandpa blood. Okay. <laughs> Hunt and collect blood from victims. Roger. Execute them. Okay. Sounds simple enough. Do you know Fort Solis? Yep. I know about it, but I'm not interested in checking it out. It seems more like... Um, Oof. That probably hurts. So as I was saying, it looks more like a Quantic Dream game. Doesn't seem to have lots of gameplay. Also, guys, is it too dark? Hang on. 45 FPS. Okay. Let's try lowering shadows, effects, and post processing to medium. Classic UE4 way to get things working. Victim noise has awakened grand. Awakened Grandpa. Okay, medium to high gave a, gave me a few FPS more. Medium to high setting. Whoa. Okay. I still get some stutter. It's probably a textious. I hang on that I'm getting lots of messages. So annoying. Oh, I cannot pass through this? Really? Okay. Looks fine. Why no Riva Tuner? Because the game crashes when I enable the overlay. So I have to play like this. I apologize, but no control over that. Out of my hands. They said, though, that they are um, working on a fix in the future. Yeah, that stutter is probably GPU memory. Oh, hang on. I can check that on the task manager, actually. Yeah, we're using lots of memory. Not all the memory, but a good amount. Okay. I might try load textures later. How the hell did those kids find us? Collect blood. Hell yeah. I'm going to feed you, Grandma. Yeah, this is Unreal Engine 4. Although I saw some Unity... Oh, here's Grandpa. I saw some Unity logos there. Not sure what was made with Unity on this one, but it's Unreal Engine 4, definitely. It almost like a PS4 era UE4 game, or maybe using the new benchmark 2 from Intel. What do you mean? I'm confused. Oh, this makes noise. Okay, they can see me make noise as well. I'm going to increase the brightness a bit because I cannot see anything. It's too bright outside. Okay, that's a little bit better. So enough. Sure. Oh, you poor little... Now, where did 
did you go? It's so funny. Okay, they probably went you down there. You ain't never quite the same after that, let me tell you. Can I open? Have you seen the movies? No, I was too young to watch them. And already the title put me off as a as a as a kid. It wasn't super nice. I mean, when I was a kid, I was even afraid of the first Doom game. I mean, when I was five. So yeah, once some friends told me if I wanted to watch this movie, and I was like, hell no, <laughs> I'm not watching that. <laughs> then I forgot that it existed. Complex power increased. Okay. Also, did you guys watch the movies? If so, what was your age back then? Again, I was too young. Grandpa is hungry again. Well, one of them disconnected. Requires leather face. Okay. Never? Okay. I don't even remember the age when this movie came out. I'm going to just make lots of noise. And I need more blood for grandpa. I can close this. I prefer the Halloween films, to be honest. Never watched those either. I know that they exist, but I'm not a huge horror movie fan. I mean, I'm not afraid anymore of horror movies. They're mostly noise. Strong noises is what bothers me. They use that quite a bit nowadays. And I forgot where grandpa was. Okay, I think everybody died. Yeah, there's only one person left. And I didn't even see anyone yet. <laughs> I'm just trying to feed grandpa over here. I think being a victim will be more interesting or being Leatherface. Slashers are pretty samey. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hi there. Oh no, she's just the family as well. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sister. Okay, I can hear the chainsaw. Rampant powers increase. There's Leatherface. Damn. Grandpa's not hungry? Okay. I do, but sometimes he goes to 79. Yeah, psychological horror, I think, is better. Okay, grandpa is hungry again. Don't worry. Because it stays with you. They're probably outside. Grandpa is not hungry. Not hungry. Grandpa is hungry again. Again! Jesus. DLSS 3.5 looks cool. Time to play Cyberpunk on a 26. Yeah, definitely. That's a big issue I had with ray racing on games too. Come on. Can I feed him? That's an issue I had with ray tracing. Sometimes it's very. how to say. grainy. So that's perfect. I only read about this game on PC Gaming Wiki. 
Yeah, I mean, I forgot it came out. Honestly. And I forgot that I requested a code. And I didn't get an email confirming that, so I I wasn't here for release, unfortunately. Just the, the name said to me, okay, this is probably some Dead by Daylight clone. And it seems to be heavily inspired by it. But it has some differences. There's not only one killer, there's three of them, which is an interesting change. And instead of being, okay, click just the moment where the <laughs> the clock is moving that bored me to to death on the other game this one seems to have less of an emphasis on that the thing is i cannot find the survivors which is kind of the point i guess oh blood i think this is by Fr the Friday the 13th game devs makes complete sense then. Oh man, I was so sad when they took down Friday the 13th. Okay, maybe that's the guy. Yep, there he is. Let's go get him. Yeah, he got indoors. I'll get him. Oh, I can see through walls. I forgot about that. Small detail. Hey, let me good GPU benchmark to see if my underbolt is stable. Witcher 3. Play Witcher 3 for like 20 minutes. That game never fails to make my GPU crash if my underbolt isn't stable. Time to play. Witcher 3 and Hitman 2 or 3. If I remember correctly. Okay, is he down there? That's Leatherface. Yeah, I saw the other guy. The Texan in shadows active. I thought it was going to be daytime in this though. Maybe there's multiple daytime events. Because there's so many... Many, what's the name of this? Many screenshots on daytime, not nighttime. Just for a visibility thing. You guys probably can see the game just fine. The thing is, I'm in a very well lit environment. That's kind of an issue. With superposition, well, superposition is also good, but it's not a game. Witcher 3 used lots of power, I don't know why. But it's a great benchmark for my underworlds so far. <clears throat> Especially in the heavy forest locations. Which you can find very early on in the game. There is a huge difference of textures compared to yesterday's UE5 game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. And right now... I think this is fine, the settings like this. It drops into the 40s when looking at the entire map from one of the corners. But otherwise, it's been 60s. Okay, that's another phase. Hi there. Hi there, brother. Everybody's still looking for him. <laughs> One person left. Let's feed Grandpa in the meantime. Now help us. Yeah, it's really well optimized, but it's UE4. Graphically looks okay, it's decent enough. Um, somebody told me this is from the Friday the 13th developers. Which, that was one of the games in this genre that I enjoyed the most. It was so much fun to play as Jason. It was awesome. Too bad that game was taken down. Yo, Akhil Prasad! 
Does it stutter like a lot of other UE4 games? I had a couple of stutters at the beginning. But then it stabilized. I think I was uh, VRAM limited. So I put textures on medium. Low didn't seem to be necessary. Now that we're here, let's check out FSR. FSR seems to be FSR 1 only. And it only says high. It doesn't say which FSR reset we're using. Okay, that's a big improvement in performance. But FSR actually looks okay. Maybe because it's dark, but... FSR... High. It's so weird. Why don't they just put if it's quality? It's probably quality FSR. Okay, there's our guy. Come on, let me chase after him. Did he escape? Okay, two, two, got two hits in. Ah, oh, there we go. Freak you, man. You're not leaving. Really, this is as fast as I can move. Okay. Yeah, after two hits, my character gets tired. He's down there, though. Okay, that makes sense. It would have been way too easy otherwise. Sí, Iván. Uh, qué lástima. Bueno, acá por suerte empezó a llover, así que perfecto. Precisamos agua en Uruguay. Okay, the hunt is over. Yay! He's so happy. Look at him dance. This is pretty funny. Does he dance like this in the movie? Or is it a, a, a game exclusive thing? In this game you don't need a 60 all the time. I agree. I agree completely. I don't think it's necessary. Single player? No, unfortunately only multiplayer. Ah, bien. Bien, Ivan. Genial. He's been dancing in the end of the movie. Okay, <laughs> that's a nice reference then. Sí, está en Game Pass. Yeah, guys, if you're wondering, this game is also available on Game Pass if you want to check it out. So if you are a Game Pass subscriber, you can play against people on Steam, people on Xbox, people on PlayStation 5. So you should be good. Let's, let's be our chainsaw character there, Leatherface. I don't know what happened to the UI here. That's weird. Okay, so a couple more players. So as I was saying, you you have complete crossplay, which I really like because this usually kills the other multiplayer only games. Robin seventy ninety seven is on Xbox. This other guy is on PC. Lucky Cat is on Xbox. Shilov Kudat is on PlayStation, and this other person is also on PlayStation. So. That's a breath of fresh air for me. 750 Ti when? Maybe at the end. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, the final of the original movie, he cuts his own leg. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Sí, es como Dead by Daylight, pero me parece un poco más intuitivo. I wish every player puts ready so we can start the game, please. Can we please start the game? <laughs> See, take quite A gigabyte cards? Yeah, coming after this. After the 30, after the 1050 Ti. But I agree with some of you guys that said that games like this. 60 frames is not absolutely necessary and I completely agree considering how restrictive the movement is 
it feels more like a like a slow paced endeavor. So yeah, I would personally just target maybe the forties or something. Because when I was attacking as Johnny, I was like three hits and he gets tired, so he stays still for a couple of seconds and then I try it again. So it's not fast paced at all. Yeah, the 750DI should be able to play the game, but I don't know. We'll see. Jesus, people do not put ready. It's a, it's one button. Thanks to the people that do not put ready, it takes two minutes to get inside the game. You remember me? Of course. How's it going, man? It's been a while. Five, four. Oh, now she puts ready. <laughs> Assholes. <laughs> I hate that. That's a skill issue. They cannot press a button. They have no chance against us then. Here we go. Okay, I gotta say FSR looks a bit over sharpened so far. So, I'll probably just play on native resolution. Yeah, this is just like Dead by Day, like in this part, when they're on the hook. No, a dead armadillo! Okay, I'm finally the main guy. I cannot die, I'm the main character. Concert noises. Oh, Jesus. This guy had a bad day. They yeah, make so much noise. The thing is finding the, the other people. Okay, so the grandpa is up there. The door. What I'm not sure about if, is if, the, um, if I can get him down here. It's not Dead by Daylight because it's from a movie half a century ago. What do you mean? Dead by Daylight has collaborations with lots of movies from a long time ago as well. Although I rather have... I rather have something that is actually related to the movie. Wake up grandpa first. Okay, let's wake him up. The thing is, I don't know how to get up there. Yeah, let's make some noise. Collect blood, happily. Does this game have a problem with afterburner? Yes, it crashes when I enable the afterburner. Which is a shame, but hey, nothing that I can do about it. The good thing is that the developers are aware of the issue. I saw a lot of a lot of posts on the Steam forums because people couldn't <laughs> play the game, and it was like, "Have you tried turning it off after Bana? This that's the first thing I do when a game crashes on me. Oh, hi there. Are you kidding me? I have to turn it on. Uh, run, run, bitch, run. Oh, I cannot pass. Really? Thrust. Okay, that makes sense. I don't get it. Destroy. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, I got you. Armor Core 6. Yeah, I'll play it tomorrow when it comes out. It should be like... 27 hours from now. Uh, 
Rev chainsaw. Hell yeah. Brum, brum. Brum, brum. I'm the worst leather face ever. I see, so I can attack them while they're moving through those tight spaces. Gotcha. Oh. If I knew that, I would have destroyed these tables from the beginning. All the obstacles. Will it run like Elden Ring? Armor Core? Yeah, probably. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're not going to change the engine. Would be nice, but... I don't think they will. Okay, Grandpa is up, so... Okay, there's some noise. Let me see where the other characters are. Okay, they're chasing after someone. That's a good sign. Finally, I am upstairs. This is the demanding part. So as I was saying, the thing with this game is when you go outside, is when it drops frames, especially when looking, especially when looking into the foliage and all that. And if you put effects on medium, the foliage is completely static. So I think I'd rather play on high. He said 100 plus FPS. I'm seeing a 2023 game. Yeah, but when you're in the basement uh, with FSR, but yeah. You're seeing it correctly. If I disable FSR, I go from 72 to 62, so I lose 8 frames here. But I recommend effects on high, post process on high, shadows on high, keep textures on medium. And now the foliage will actually move around. So it's basically high settings with medium textures. My settings, medium textures. Can you believe I'm playing on high settings? Grandpa is in danger. No, not grandpa. Come back here. Oh, dang it. Oh, that's a friendly. My bad. Sorry, brother. Yeah, he was, she was here somewhere. Nobody touches grandpa. Frustrated noises. <laughs> grandpa, no! A chance is not that fast of scary. What do you mean? I gotta feed to grandpa. Poor grandpa. Sense of affection. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay. Okay, I'm hearing some noises. Concerned noises. It's funny because I'm... Okay, two doors are being noisy down there. Can I lock the door again? Yeah. Perfect. F's in the chat for grandpa, he's dead. My grandpa actually is, but that was a while ago. And I also, when I... When I was talking to him, it was all, always sounds of affection. It's weird that they are not... Okay, somebody died. A PlayStation person didn't survive. Okay. One person ex escaped. This is the first time I say that. Ungrateful bastards. 
So guys, personally, I would play like this. High settings, medium textures. It varies between 30 and 60. It depends on what's going on. If you have foliage on screen, well, it'll drop. I'm going to show you. Otherwise, it's, it's fine. Again, not a fast-paced game at all. I mean, I'm slowly running. But if I see the map all at once like this... It drops some frames here and there. Probably on daytime it's different. But that's the only thing. Otherwise it's fine. And I don't think you need 60s for this to be enjoyable at all. So I think it should change to the 1050 Ti already. I don't think we need any more proof <laughs> that this is fine. Let's try 1440p rather quick. Let's see if it works properly. Yeah, exactly. Smithy, W, and Jaeger. That's exactly what I was thinking. Let's see 1440p on the same settings. Okay. 30 FPS. But it drops, so probably not. Probably foliage related. So we put it on medium effects, and that should do. Let's see. Come on. Stabilize, please. There we go. So 1440p high. Medium textures and effects. And you're good to go. You can do 1440p as well. Can you believe that? In a 2023 game. This is going to be awesome on the 1050, on the 1050, on the 3050. What a surprise. I was like, okay, this is going to run bad. But no. Okay, there's two people left. Where, where's my family? I don't see them at all. Did they disconnect? One, one got disconnected. Okay, that's a bummer. So I have to go. Okay, have a good rest, man. Thanks for sticking around. I appreciate that. Okay, I can run with this. Awesome. Damn. Leatherface has no chill. Good luck, man. You got this exam. Oh, Grandpa is in danger. So don't be like grandpa, you'll be fine man. You got this. Have to track all the way back there. Grandpa, no! Not my grandpa! Oh, hi there! Ah, oh, are you kidding me? Okay, is this a bug? Yeah, definitely. This is... No. This is one of us, I think. Yeah, I think it's just a bug. Oh well. I was excited for a moment. Okay, greetings. Are there upscaling solutions in the game? Yeah. You got... Okay, we won. Awesome. So, uh, yeah, there's FSR 1. But it doesn't say if it's quality, ultra quality. It's only low, medium or high. Greetings from Uruguay. 
It's the first stream I've able to catch live in months. <laughs> well, thanks for coming, man. I appreciate that. Okay, it's time to swap GPUs. It runs at 1440p, which is cool. Make sure to lower FX to medium and you should be good to go. I'm going to put medium settings for the 1050Ti. Yeah. And 1080p. But I'm happy that we can play the game properly. That's awesome. Why most targets 60 when most current simple monitors are 75? I wouldn't generalize saying most monitors are 75. More simple monitors. I, I fix lots of computers. That's a side hustle I have. I Trust me, 60 hertz is the norm by a long shot. 75 is nice, but it's not the norm, at least not in Uruguay, but Uruguay is South America. So what do I know? <laughs> okay. Time to swap. Yeah. FSR one, not nice, but for the Steam Deck screen should be fine. The thing is the game uh, doesn't work on Steam Deck due to the anti-cheat. The game kicks you out very, very quickly. I tried it a few hours ago. Although, now that I think about it... Que genial, Iván, me alegro de te gusto. Now that I think about it, I can test this game using Windows on Linux. Windows on Linux? What? Windows on the Steam Deck. <laughs> because I installed Windows on my Steam Deck, so... Yeah. It does work on Steam Deck, but you need Windows. Dead by Daylight did get verified, so hopefully this will follow suit. Hopefully, I guess so. Yeah, good point. Yeah, that's the main competition. They have to. Welcome back. Now we have 1050 Ti. So we're left with launching it in desktop mode. What do you mean? If it doesn't work on Linux because of the anti-cheat, we gotta wait for the devs to fix it. So yeah, playing on Windows is the way, I guess. I'm going to make a video about it. I completely forgot that I have <laughs> Windows installed on my Steam Deck in a separate partition. Okay, this should be good. Are you going to eventually try the 750Di? Uh, I don't think so. Mostly for time. Maybe in a few minutes at the end of the stream, I might give it a shot, but I don't know. Lately, people don't seem to be interested, which I mean, makes sense. It's almost 10 years old. In February 2024, it will be 10 years old. I'm going to make a video talking about that, but people don't seem to be super interested, which is a shame, but hey, what can you do? It's part of... It was going to happen eventually. That's what I started my channel with, so... It's funny because now I have two of them. A friend of mine donated a PC that I'm using as a server, and that PC had a 750Ti, so now I have two 750Ti's. The original one that I got in 2014, and, uh, and another one that is a smaller form factor. 1080p, everything on medium, but ultra anti-aliasing because it's TAA. Let's go. Eh, Francisco, por ahora está genial. Puedo jugar 1080p arriba de 40 en la 1650. Y puedo jugar en 1440p 30 en ajustes medios en la 1650. Va bastante bien. Um, hang on. Here's Johnny. I'm sorry guys, I don't have Afterburner running, the metrics, because when you enable the overlay, the game crashes, so I'm stuck. 
This game seems really well optimized. Yeah. I agree. So far, so good. Please, everyone, put ready so I can, so the match starts. <sighs> Too bad I cannot be leather Leatherface in this part. But hey, what can you do? It's a good thing to see this after this you have mostly unoptimized games. Yeah, I agree. The thing is, well, this game is not photorealistic. It looks good enough. But I like that it tries to be a fun game. I think that's what matters the most right now. After seeing so many technical difficulties in so many new games, it's funny, but it's a breath of fresh air that the game actually works as intended. Can you believe that? <laughs> We got to a point where the game actually working properly is a massive thing. Okay, now it's daytime. That's awesome. I wanted to check that out. Secure the property. Happily. Grandpa. Okay. For the 60 FPS target, I'm probably going to use FSR and be done with it. Jesus. Here's Johnny! Seems they got some fighting him after all. Okay, so as I was saying before, well medium has some limited draw distance. Let me increase the draw distance a bit. Hang on, let me see if I can hit over 30 with these settings. The thing is, when you see at the map, the um, here, when you see the more taxing part, which is the rest of the map. Oh, Jesus, what the hell? Okay. <laughs> I didn't see that trap. That was pretty funny, though. So when you see the parts with detail, it drops into the 30s. Really? Come on, that hitbox is BS. <laughs> Come on. There has to be another way in. As someone with 2200 vision, when my glasses are off, I take upscalers as an absolute win. <laughs> Makes sense. You can't notice FSR2 ultra performance, well, I don't know. But if your vision is poor, it makes sense. Really cannot get in. Okay. Okay. We already killed someone. Grandpa is up. Good. I missed him. There we go. Sí, la valla está electrificada, pero no encontraba otra forma de entrar. All right. Let's go see Grandpa. So as I was saying, when you see the map, again, the part where there is detail, that's when you drop into the 30s. Which makes complete sense. But I think I can do better with the settings. Let me change a couple things. Foliage on high, post-processing as well. Shadows, medium shadows are fine. Textures, I'd rather not touch them. So it's basically a mix of medium and high. So this is basically high mid settings. Ooh, 
with medium textures and medium effects. Okay. We'll test Fort Solis. No, I don't think so. I've been asked about that multiple times, but no, I don't think I will. Oh, more blood. Hell yeah. I gotta say, I really dig the daytime part more than the nighttime. Qual el Fort Solis? Hey, brother. Grandpa immobilized. No, not grandpa. Well, somebody's going to save him, right? Where is he? Oh, he's up there. That poor fellow. These people have no respect. Ah, bien, bien, bien. Me pareció bueno entonces, me alegro. This game is already cracked. Well, yeah, I saw that. I checked on Reddit if it was cracked, and it is, but um, the game is online only. You can play in official servers, but your account is going to be banned a couple of minutes after you go online, so... I don't know. It feels like a waste of time to me. And also, it's on Game Pass. So it's very cheap to get into it without actually buying it. I don't know. Grandpa is hungry again, really? <laughs> Fine. Let's see. Time to play. See if I can find those. Those fellers. Does this game have the Nubo? I don't think so. Correct me if I'm wrong. I only know that it has easy anti-cheat, but that's anti-cheat software. Okay, somebody escaped. That SOB. Okay. Let's just make noise. Howdy. Uh, any thoughts on the LSS 3.5? Oh, okay. It will be compatible with all RTX cards. Makes sense. Thanks for the heads up. Yeah, I like that they changed that because the ray tracing was looking way too grainy. So having a denoiser there is a big change, in my opinion. But of course, frame generation stays on 4000 series cards. Makes complete sense. I wish they still gave, that, gave us that as an option, though. Would have been nice. It's about time a game that runs in UE4 doesn't have major stutters every second. I agree completely. Yeah. Took them long enough. You looking better already. Now help us.
as I understand it, this is better than frame generation. It's not a thing of it, it's better or worse. I think probably it runs a tiny bit better, but it also affects the um, how the ray tracing looks when DLSS is on. So frame generation is something different entirely. We're putting fake frames in the middle, which is not a bad thing as long as it works properly, but they insert a... Okay, hi there. Are you one of us? Yeah, he's one of us. So as I was saying, frame generation, basically the card sees two frames and it invents one in the middle at a very good quality. I tried it on Spider-Man and it's amazing. But in some games it works completely, it doesn't work as expected. Like Immortal Zone of Avium, if you need a frame generation, the game looks like absolute garbage. And it looks like it has fake frames. It becomes even more stuttery. So it's nice when it's done right. <laughs> uh, frame generation AI creates frames for native resolution. Yeah. Exactly. That's why we call it fake frames. Oh, I see. Okay, this is how they escaped. <laughs> well, everybody escaped then. Okay, well, sometimes you lose. This is the first time I lost. Although it's so weird to see a game like this so vibrant with the colors. <laughs> anyway, let's go for a quick match with FSR. Let's see if we can get a more consistent frame rate, but I think this is fine guys. I don't think you should lower the resolution. It didn't feel any different when playing at 60. Yeah, it's smoother, whatever, but in a game like this, it doesn't seem to be necessary. Yeah, it's not great for fast-paced competitive games. And, well, if the frame rate is very high, I'm talking like 200 FPS, well, Makes sense. Let's see. With FSR and medium settings. Yeah, let's try it like this. It's settings plus FSR pi, which I think is FSR quality. But who knows? The game doesn't specify. Not a fan of FSR 1, but a. Uh, what can you do? A friend of mine has a 4060 Ti, 8GB plays Cyberpunk 2077 and 150 FPS with frame generation. He says he can feel it every frames. Feel it every frames? What do you mean? I played it, I have a 144Hz 4K monitor, so on a 4070Ti it's not possible to get <laughs> 140 FPS at 4K on Cyberpunk, so I tried frame generation and it felt like 144. It was actually probably like 90 FPS, but it felt like 144. So as long as you feel that it's actually 144, it doesn't matter if it's a fake frame or something. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, art style is one of the biggest things because if the art style is not good, but technically the game has photorealism, who cares? Exactly. Does the start work better on AMD hardware or, or NVIDIA? It should be the same. On 1080p resolution, ultra plus frame generation plus DLSS quality ultra preset, that makes complete sense. Yeah. No, on the 4070Ti, I put uh, the game without ray tracing and I put it on performance DLSS and I put frame generation on and I can do it like that. But I play at 4K, 4K 144. So it's actually internally 1080p and I'm basically generating fake frames in the middle. But it's super smooth, it's ridiculous. 
They did a great job on Cyberpunk with that. And if I try to play on the Psycho Ray Tracing, this path traced mode, I can get 70 FPS at 4K with Performance FSR, sorry, Performance DLSS plus frame generation. And it still looks good. Armored Core 6, will you test it? Yeah, tomorrow. Hey, game lover, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. The search continues in Muerto County for a missing yeah, I've been playing the killers since the beginning. The Not the band, Flores, the team. Okay, night time again. Secure the property. Feed grandpa. I wish I had a 4070, but I guess I'm okay with a 3060. Yeah, that's fine, man. 12 gigabytes is good. That's the biggest thing about the 3060, that it has 12 gigs. That's a, a big plus. Mm, I don't know, Games Lord. I haven't been following new cards lately, so I have no idea. In rasterization, probably a 6950, but I don't know. I couldn't tell you for sure. What I do know is that AMD is not great at ray tracing. Okay, even with FSR on high, I drop into the 40s. But I mean, I don't think this game benefits a lot from 60. Honestly. I still feel like I'm a big tank chasing after people. <laughs> okay, 900 repeat did it. So if you play at 900p, medium settings with FSR on high, which is probably quality, you can get 60s outside, which is the main issue. But honestly, after playing the game on medium to high on 1080p without upscaling at 30 to 45 FPS, I'd rather play with better quality. Because, yeah, the camera movement is way smoother, whatever, because it's 60, makes complete sense. But the game itself doesn't seem to be benefiting a lot from it. The gameplay doesn't seem super affected, which is a shame, but it makes complete sense. I don't know. What do you guys think? Wonder how FSR 3 will be. Yeah, probably you'll need specific hardware to make it work properly. Okay, where's Grandpa? Over there. Gotcha. Let's feed him. Hey, mi pichito. Como esta todo? Hello, everyone. I'm Santiago Santiago, and today I'm going to be testing Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Here you go, old man. Here you go, old man. You never use NVIDIA GPUs. How does DLSS compare with FSR? At least in my experience, DLSS always look better. In my experience. I use both. When DLSS is not available, it's kind of a bummer. FSR is way more common. But DLSS looks amazing. In my opinion, it's superior. When done correctly. Victim noise has awakened grandpa. Oh no. Those assholes. I drink coffee as I feed grandpa. Feed grandpa 10 times in total. <laughs> Happily. Otto, bien? Nobody here. Stranger. Okay, I'm, li I'm hearing somebody gasping here and there. Yeah. I think it's upstairs. Or, yeah, probably upstairs. Or... DLAA is the best native upscaler. Well, yeah, DLAA is basically DLSS without lowering the resolution. Oh, Grandpa's in danger. Not my Grandpa! I saw you, darling. Take it. Take 
Okay, she escaped. Jesus Christ. Get back here! Jesus, my character is useless. Get back here! You cannot run forever! Thanks for the blood, by the way. Not dead? I'm not sure if she died. I don't think so. Okay. Hope she's dead. I don't think so. <laughs> so as I was saying, yeah, DLAA is the best upscaler by far. But DLAA is... Let's use DLSS without lowering the resolution. By far the best, the best of the best. My favorite way to use anti-aliasing when available. Let's feed Grandpa. He was in danger. That poor soul. It always tastes best when it's fresh, don't it? Delicious. Okay, he leveled up. What are you doing? I'm leveling up my grandpa. never thought I was going to say those words, but here I am. Grandpa is hungry again. Yeah. Going, going. Oh, it's empty. Okay. There's somebody down there. Let's go get them. Oh, these are friendlies. LOL. Escapes me. Yeah, keep leveling up the grandpa. You wouldn't understand. It was like when I was a kid and I was playing GTA San Andreas and my mother called me for, for dinner. It was like... You wouldn't understand, mother. <laughs> oh yeah, in the future if a kid is playing this, they will be saying, I'm leveling up grandpa, mother. I cannot, I cannot go right now. Well, that's one of the big curses of being young. I'm being a gamer nowadays. So much online stuff that you cannot pause. Hopefully parents now understand that you cannot pause an online game. They probably won't understand either. Can you play this game offline? Unfortunately not. It's only multiplayer. But these are the guys behind the Friday the 13th game. So, and in that game they added bots. So that means that they probably in the future are going to add support for that. Hopefully. Grandpa's in danger. No! Not Grandpa, not again. The thing is I get lost in these levels. I think that's kind of the idea though. I don't know why everyone is shit on the game's graphics. It looks okay. Yeah, it's okay. It doesn't need to be... F not every game needs to be photorealistic. It looks good. Shadows are fine. Models are okay. It's faithful to the source material. I mean, there are games that look photorealistic and they have no substance. So who cares at this point? I think Elden Ring is a great example of that. But I don't know, they have to criticize something. That's kind of the way we work. Okay. Grandpa? Ah, there you are. I was worried, Grandpa. 
looks like Friday the 13th alternative is from the people that made Friday the 13th the video game. That's why I'm excited. Okay, I leveled up Grandpa. Uh, I'll, I'll much have a game focused on style rather than super realistic. Well, I think that's the main thing right now with UE5. Many games look very generic, but they have good graphics. But the art style is missing. That's what bothers me. Okay, nobody escaped and nobody died. I wonder where are they? It has atmosphere, which is the most important. Completely agreed. I think this will be more... Well, if you're a survivor, it's probably terrifying. Being a killer, you're just like strolling around, trying to find them. It's more chill. What I'm happy about in this game is that it's not only one player being the killer. There's three of us. I think that's a way better idea. That's one thing that I didn't like about Dead by Daylight. You play Friday the 13th offline with bots. Yeah, that's the thing. This game doesn't have that yet. I don't know if they said in the future we're going to have that, but as of right now, it's multiplayer only. Considering it's the same devs, they probably are going to do something like that in the future, but who knows. That game didn't work because Friday the 13th because of uh, copyright and issues with the owners of the IP. Don't worry. So they couldn't update the game any anymore. Which is a shame. I really enjoyed that one. I still have the, the videos of me playing Friday the 13th. <laughs> it's on YouTube. It was a fun game, definitely. Oh, you're thirsty today. No Starfield live benchmarking. Once it comes once it comes out, it's like a week away, I think. It comes out on September 1st for premium edition users so yeah i'm going to i'm going to <laughs> i'm going to pay a hundred bucks to play it a couple days a couple days a week early but i'm a youtuber so it's a good excuse i mean bethesda releasing a new game is very rare so okay everybody's escaping there's one left oh and the final one disconnected oh no never mind this is probably escaped in the underground. Yeah, let's hope for the best. Yeah, hopefully soon. They have offline with bots. Although I don't know how they would pull that off in a game like this. But hey, you never know. Is motion blur on? Unfortunately, there is no motion blur off. You can probably disable that by tweaking a config file, but it's very noticeable, yeah. It's a shame. Okay. We died. Sorry, we lost. So yeah, four wins, two losses. That's okay. Let's swap GPUs. Let's do the 3050 now. I'm going to shut down the computer though. Here we go. Th that killer looks very much like you. I don't look like Johnny. Johnny looks like me. Although Johnny in this game looks very similar to... Um, what was the name of this character from Resident Evil Zero? I forget the name. 
Bethesda is going to be fun. I agree. It's going to be fun. Resident Evil Zero. Um, characters. Billy. In my opinion, it looks like Billy from Resident Evil Zero. Was it Billy or Edward? Billy. Yeah, it looks like Billy Colin from Resident Evil Zero. The Johnny character in this game. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, let's launch the game. It's going to be... I'm probably doing 1080p Ultra on this one. Should be easy. So let's give it a shot. But honestly, I think it looks like Billy from Resident Evil Zero. The character that I've been playing lately. He looks familiar. Anyway. And thanks for voting. You guys asked me to play as the killers with 69% votes. I don't know how that works though, because Pixens is 30%. Where's that extra 1%? 1% 1 is missing. Nice. I'm happy that 1% is missing, so it says 69. My brain is happy now. No FSR. Ultra. All right, ultra settings, FSR disabled, 1080p. Let's go. It's probably going to be fine, but hey. Oh, let me see if there's DLSS, just in case. Oh yeah, there is. Cool. Quality, balance, performance, ultra performance. There's no DLAA. Oh, that's a shame. This game will greatly benefit from that. Although DLSS doesn't look great in this game. Okay. Interesting. Maybe if I enable... Hang on. DLSS here. Yeah, no, there is none. Oh well. Hitting 1% is probably Grandpa, probably. Yeah, carbon copy of Billy, definitely. Perfect miscalculation, but the bot. Yeah, it cannot be a coincidence. I mean, come on. Let's be honest here. All right. Okay, I guess I'll be the old guy now. Or... Okay, let's be sissy. Because why not? <laughs> so as I was saying, Johnny looks like Billy from Resident Evil. Let me show you. If you don't know who that is, it's this guy. I mean, it cannot be a coincidence. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, no. It's definitely a carbon copy. I can fix her. <laughs> you definitely can. I'm pretty sure you can fix her, yeah. We'll try together, don't worry. She's also barefoot, I just noticed that. The search continues in Muerto County for a missing University of Texas student. The Sheriff's Department says Maria Flores... Here we go. Valde, 
Yeah, on this game I wouldn't even use DLSS unless I'm playing at 1440p or something. I see some stutters every once in a while though. Which is odd. Maybe my texture quality is too high. I don't think so. The quality of the textures is not that crazy. So yeah, I see some shader compilation stuff. We can fix her, guys! Yeah, this runs fine. Who would I turn this on? Screw that. Oh, okay. With this character, I can pass through. I can also hide. Let's find Grandpa. Amazing crossover. Agreed. It's even better because you're saying... <laughs> <laughs> because your surname there is Redfield in your username. Pretty funny. <laughs> Perfect. Nice camera angles. Okay, that's the exit probably. I could just camp there and wait for them to come to us. Okay, that way. I need to get to Grandpa. Okay, so sometimes drops below 60, but I mean, I really do not notice. I have to look at the FPS counter there. I see some minor shader compilations that are bad. Otherwise, we're good. Wake up grandpa first. Okay. Sure. Who was grandpa? Over there. Hey grandpa, I miss you. he outside yeah he's just having a good night oh that's good ain't it there there it, it's all right grandpa okay guys 1080p is fine let's try 1440p that'll be way more interesting let's give it a shot 1440p and we're lowering the settings a bit we don't need to play on ultra let's put it on high so 1440p high and let me fix the fps scanner it's a little bit large that's what she said okay grandpa woke up Okay. Okay, at 1440p drops into the 50s. Again, I don't think it's a big deal. We should be fine. If you want small frames, DLSS is there for you. Which is also an option. In this case, I don't think it's necessary. But it's there. Hey bro, how are you doing? Do you speak Spanish? Claro que sí, Papu Andrés. El Papu Andrés. Es un honor, señor. No, no hablo español, solo hablo inglés. <laughs> I was trolling someone in Spanish. I'm sorry, guys. i 5 9300H, 16 gigs of RAM, 1650, gonna run it. Good question. 9300H, I don't remember that CPU at all. Probably a laptop. Yeah, mobile chip, four cores, eight threads. Yeah, should be fine. Make sure that the RAM is on dual channel and you'll be good. Okay, 
Okay, somebody died. Awesome. You're welcome. Have fun. If you have a Game Pass, you can download the Xbox app and you can play the game right away. Shut up, chicken. Are you okay, Grandpa? Here. Here, Grandpa. Please level up for me. Santiago thinks in Spanish but speaks in English. Actually, right now I'm the other way around, which I know sounds weird, but I think in English all the time. Which destroys my Spanish sometimes. I forget Spanish words. Because some English words are so so much more efficient. Okay, she's so dead. <laughs> yeah, she's gone. Almost going to buy it. Yeah, yeah, don't worry, man. Yeah, just get just get Game Pass, download the app, and play the game. It's nice to have it on Steam, don't get me wrong, but if you can try it on Game Pass first. Okay, there's one left. One, is, one has escaped, actually. Yeah, but nobody fed Grandpa in this one. Oh, she's ragdolling in the ground there. <laughs> I love finding bugs. Traitor. <laughs> Why? Oh, barbecue. Now, it's not being a traitor. I've been... I've been learning English since I was like two years old. Basically in kindergarten, in kindergarten, kindergarten, I was speaking English already. With my family, we went to Spain in 2001 or 2000. And my family, I don't remember this, but my family told me that I was, that there was a couple, an Italian family with us on a train. And I started speaking English with the Italian family and the Italians understood me and I understood them so I've been speaking English for a while guys I'm 27 now <laughs> that was 25 years ago sorry 24 years ago so I have an advantage in that regard I was lucky enough to start English without my consent at a very young age Grandpa is hungry again? Don't worry, Grandpa. I got you. And before I continue, 1440p you can play on high or you can just do DLSS on quality. And you'll be over 60 all the time. But honestly, in this game, I don't think it's worth doing. Just enjoy the normal graphics. How says 1652? He did fine. Who is the current best killer? I would say Leatherface, maybe. Well, Johnny is a good contender. Between Leatherface and Johnny, I would say. I like that Leatherface destroys the obstacles in the middle. And Johnny can track the survivors, but I've been having better results with Johnny so far. But he kills very slowly. Although with this powder I'm getting, I can poison some objects. The thing with Johnny is that he cannot crawl through those spaces like my character can. Oh, I see. I can poison the air. That's pretty useful. Nice! Remarkable. I mean, can I just poison the exit like this? Just a touch. That's pretty funny.
I tried the game on close beta with the 1650, it was good. Hopefully it will be fine right now too. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried it on the 1650 and it was uh, 1080p, 40 FPS on high. If you go down to medium, it's closer to 50. And if you use FSR, you can get 60s. But I don't think it's worth doing that. As long as it's over 30, this one is fine. Nobody else? I'm happy to report that you can play the game just fine. Okay. We're still leveling up, Grandpa. Don't worry, I'll help. There we go. Yeah, these people are probably downstairs. These people, the last person. Okay, I'm hearing something. Hang on. Is it upstairs or downstairs? Yeah, no, this was here. You want escape? Good luck trying to escape now. <laughs> oh, this is a friend. Do you recommend Gigabyte M32Q? Good question. M32Q. I don't remember which one that was. I have an... an I have one of those gigabyte monitors, but the 4K version. You're talking about a 1440p 144Hz display? By any chance? Oh yeah, I have the M28U. There's also M32U, which is a 4K 144, 32 inch and, 24, and 28 inch monitor. They look pretty good. I'm using it right now to play the game actually. And it works just fine good colors it needed some calibration but it worked well now that i think about it i'm playing this game in a over 100 hertz on my monitor i forgot that my monitor could do that that's why i, I didn't notice uh, much of an issue visually speaking when going over 100 i usually see lots of screen tearing interesting 2k 165 should be fine i mean i don't have it Unfortunately, I have the M28U, that is a 4K version. But so far it's been a great panel. I think it's an LG panel in this monitor. So, so far good quality, at least for me. Okay, the last person escaped. We're doing one more, but this time at 4K. Now that we're here, we might as well. Okay, here we go. Wish me luck. Since we're playing at 4K, I'm not going to bother much with going for 6 FPS. Oh man, it's razor sharp now. So beautiful. So I'm going to do 4K high with DLSS quality. If needed, we drop it to performance, which also looks good. 4K is amazing, but out of my budget now, sadly. No worries, man. You're not missing much. Especially, I mean, 4K, I would say 32 inches and above. I have a 28-inch 4K one, and it looks incredible, especially at a normal view distance. But it's a little bit overkill. 1440p will still be fine in those monitors, I'd say. So it's better because you can reach 144Hz much more easily. 
many games I played them at 1440p. And they still look good in this monitor, so... You're doing a good job with that. You don't need that much GPU power also. So 4K can wait, especially now that Unreal Engine 5 is coming out. Okay, when the birds go past us in the background, they leave a trail. I don't know if you guys saw that. When the birds are flying past, there's an artifact from DLSS. Maybe if we change the DLSS version, there we go. Follow the bird. The burb. <laughs> Here comes another one. <laughs> I love finding these nitpicks. See, this is one of those artifacts that DLSS can have. Very dark uh, thing in a clear background. You can change the DLL for another DLSS version. So probably using a newer version, sorry, an older version that is more stable fixes that issue. But it's funny to see it in real time. Your 3070 despite does 1440p very well, provided I don't go ham on the ray tracing. Yeah, I mean, the reason I can do 4K is because I don't mind using DLSS on performance in many of the games. And uh, 1440p still looks good in this monitor, so sometimes I don't mind, I just go to 1440p. So yeah. What bothers me is that the VRAM limitation that you can get at 4K is very big, especially in newer games. Okay, we drop into the 40s, which is fine. Yeah, it looks so much better. Kinda crazy. Yeah, it looks amazing at 4K here. It's not even native 4K also. Okay, I'm Leatherface now. Oh yeah, this looks incredible. What a what a change in visuals. I can even see the individual hairs of Leatherface and I can see the straps on the mask. Yeah, that's some neat detail. Good stuff. <laughs> okay, let's destroy this. It looks amazing on your iPhone 14 Pro Max. Need a monitor at least 2K now. Yeah, well, I'm also a, an iPhone user now. I have the Pro because the Pro Max was a little bit too big. I don't know. I like being able to reach my phone with one hand. But yeah, after seeing that screen, those high-end screens, you want the higher pixel count, definitely, on your main monitor. You can also, maybe you didn't know, you can install Moonlight on your computer with uh, Sunshine, which is another software. And you can stream your PC to your phone's screen with the Moonlight app. It's on the App Store. And you can enable HDR and use your phone as a monitor if you have a controller connected to it. It works surprisingly well, actually. And you get amazing colors, high contrast, you can enable HDR. But of course the screen is smaller. But I've been doing that and it works fantastically well. You'll try it? Awesome. Yeah, again, install GeForce Experience, then install Sunshine. And there is tutorials for this on the internet. I might do one in the future. But right now, it will be my advice. Comforted noises. Did I find someone?
¿Qué dice Gabriel? ¿Todo bien? Eso Samsung Odyssey CRG 49 inch dual QHD 5120 by 1440 for $800. Well, I in Uruguay that's that would be very cheap. In Uruguay one of those is like two grand. <laughs> so yeah. Is it 144? That Samsung Odyssey monitor. If that's the case, in Uruguay it would be a great deal. Okay. Grandpa is up. I can go out again. I'll lock the door though. They don't need to leave yet. Okay, once you're outside... Okay, it's daytime outside, that's awesome. Once you're outside at 4K, as you can see, drops into the 40s. But I mean, looks amazing. Oh, hi there! <laughs> There's two people here. Nyang! Come back here! Okay, everybody is outside. Ah, oh. dang it! You just bought a PS5 for Mortal Kombat One. Awesome. Can play FPS and Texas on PS5 because I'm not really used to controller. Well, this one I think is a game that you could play with a controller, very comfortable. Oh man, I'm so bad with this. Okay, he escaped, but those people are not. Not everyone is going to escape, I promise. Oh, that's a friendly. Jesus Christ, man. Well, we'll we're going to destroy this. I love that they make being the killer as inconvenient as possible, which makes complete sense. Otherwise, you will always win. And this guy didn't do anything. Yeah, Spider-Man 2. Well, I have a friend that owns a PS5 and I told him, hey man, do you want me to buy Spider-Man 50-50? You pay half of it, I pay the other half. I borrow your PS5 for a week or two and I keep it in your account. And he was like, hell yeah. And I know he never finishes games. So he told me that I could take it away for two weeks or three. That's how I'm playing Spider-Man 2 earlier without waiting for a PC release. But yeah, Mortal Kombat 1 is an another good idea. Who knows how the PC version will be. Okay, so let's see if we can get 60s by using DLSS performance. Okay, DLSS performance. Which is eternally is 1080p. But it looks better than native 1080p, let's be honest. Your competitive Mortal Kombat player, 1651 run MK1. I should be okay. I'm going to test it on day one, so. Yeah. But the PS5 is going to run it way better than the 1650, without a doubt. And at a higher resolution as well. Okay, performance DLSS. Is doing its job. You pre-ordered it last week, Sunday. You're so ready to play Spider-Man 2. Awesome, man. Yeah, I'm going to buy it close to release, personally. Uncertain noises. Somebody's attacking Grandpa now. Cannot break windows. MK games tend to be well optimized. Yeah, exactly. At least in my experience, it's been like that. I played where well, Mortal Kombat X when it released back in the day on the 750 Ti. It was my only card, and it ran well. It w I was able to get 60s even on 1080p. 
with a couple of minor tweaks. So yeah, definitely. Okay, those are friendlies. Same, same here in Descent Jester TM. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing. I appreciate that. Yeah, I like speaking with you guys. I mean, I used to be more of a, okay, let's make videos instead of live streaming. Live streaming wasn't super common when I started. It was more of a Twitch thing. But then when I started streaming, it was like, oh, this is awesome. I can speak with people with similar concerns. And when I run into a problem, you guys always have ideas, so that's great. So again, thanks for subscribing. Okay, I cannot turn on this light. Okay, fine. ¿Qué resolución se pone el juego con DLSS performance 4K? 1080p. Guys, if you didn't know, DLSS performance is basically 1080p internally, upscaled to 4K. But again, as I said multiple times in the past, it looks better than a 1080p image by a long shot. Very, very similar. Very, very similar. Very, very much a better image. There is some ghosting though. I will use a different version of the LSS. You have five smart TVs and four not working. What? No picture. Jesus Christ. That's a lot of TVs. Do you live in a mansion or something? <laughs> I have a bad experience with smart TVs. So instead of that, I buy regular TVs and I add Chromecast to all of them. And that made me spend less money on smart TV features. Because usually smart TV features on televisions are terrible. It's like a very basic Android C Android SOC. So yeah, aggressive yelling, there's probably someone here then. Oh, hi there! Freak you. Okay, there's somebody over there, and that's not a friendly. He's going to escape. If I was playing with someone chatting in real time, I would be like, dude, they are escaping. Where are you? There you are. I I was looking for you. Oh, I, I'll play dumb. Where is she? I don't see her. You really think I didn't see you? Really, she's still alive. I gave her three. Oh, never mind. Yeah, she's not dead, somehow. Okay, fine. Maybe the chainsaw is not powerful enough, or something. <laughs> Can I use an RX 580 4GB on Core i5 4th generation? Yeah, should be fine. Make sure the RAM is on both channel though. That's a big thing. Maybe play one or two games together when MK1 comes out. Yeah, sure. If you go easy on me, hell yeah. Does he have crossplay with PC? I'll be playing on PC, definitely. By the way, guys, if you want to add me on Steam, it's, it's in my channel. In the About section, you can find my Steam name. It's basically the name of the channel. And it has the same profile picture. I don't usually play lots of games online, but maybe if MK1 comes out or something, I might play online a little bit. I need to sharpen my lack of skill.
What really bothers me in this game though is a force motion blur. I mean, look at this. Look at Leatherface's head. That looks horrible. There's probably a command I can add to an AI file to turn it off, but still. Sap, eh, Gabriel. I'm still looking. Why are you hitting? So it gives me smooth gaming or just normal? At this point, a 4th gen i5 would say a normal gaming experience with less stutter, but it won't be flawless. Let's just leave it at that. Grandpa's in danger. No, not Grandpa. Where is he though? Okay, that person is definitely trying to escape. I know what he fed Grandpa. This younger generation. Oh my God, so disrespectful. Okay, one of us. Oh, hang on. Did I see someone back there? Yes, I did. But I couldn't cancel this animation. They probably jumped down again. And this guy is doing absolutely nothing. Come on, there you go. Killer! No. Nope. She was way faster than him. <laughs> Worst teammate ever. Says the guy that. Used the chainsaw three times, three hits, and didn't kill anyone. Yeah, not respecting the elders. So disgusting. Yeah, it's unfortunate that Friday the 13th was short lived. Pressure gate exit opens. Where is that? Probably downstairs. Oh, it has crossplay Mortal Kombat 1. Awesome. Okay, Ali killed a bit. Tim, good. Took her long enough. Yeah, I can hear the screams from here. But so far, pretty surprised with this game. I thought very little of it at first. But I'm surprised. I thought it was going to be a um, Dead by Daylight ripoff. But it actually tries something different, which is a good thing. And it actually runs properly. It's live! Yes, I am. I'm almost, <laughs> I'm almost gone though. The girl in the background, if I don't see him, he doesn't exist. <laughs> exactly. Perfect logic. It's funny that he only cuts the cable. He could destroy all of this. But no, let's just cut the small wire. Okay, the gate is open. That's bad. They're trying to escape. Get back here. I promise my grandpa is very nice. Oh, that destroys the chainsaw. Dang it. I'm an absolute idiot. Oh well. That's it for now. I think I saw enough. I'm going to play this on Steam Deck on Windows because Linux is not supported so far. So yeah. As I was saying, I gotta leave. 
We are almost two hours in. I got hooked, <laughs> which is a good thing. Too bad it doesn't work properly with Afterburner. It crashes with the metrics. I had to use the Steam the, the Steam OS Steam OS. Uh, the Steam overlay FPS counter. That is very basic. But it's better than nothing. Oh yeah, it has graphic settings, which in Dead by Day, like yeah, I I remember that. I forgot completely. It has presets on Dead by Day. Like here you have individual settings. Well done. Has the LSS, has FSR. Unfortunately, it seems to be FSR 1. But yeah. Big surprise. So yeah, I hope this game gets more content soon. So far it's interesting. I wish we had a single player part or playing with bots as an option. But it has crossplay, it's on Game Pass, it's on Steam. And you can play with people on PlayStation, Xbox, Steam and the Xbox Game Pass version. So very complete. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thanks again to Gun Interactive for providing a code. And I'll see you in a bit with the Steam Deck video. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Thank you and see you next time. <laughs> yeah, I'll be on Armored Core 6, without a doubt. See you tomorrow.